what's going on guys it's gz welcome to my channel so time to talk about the legendary skills for paragon that cost you 80 paragon points and there are three available at the moment and the next time when another new paragon tree comes out i'm sure there are going to be three more skills which we will be able to obtain but for now we only have three which are benefactor lightning road and rolling strike and they are good but in specific scenarios that's right it depends what you are playing and how they're going to play out for you so as you can see the lightning rod here is the most basic one if you're looking into damage because what it does is dealing damage to an enemy 10 times with in three second cause lightning to strike them dealing damage to all nearby enemies this is what it looks like let me just show you guys real quick and that was the lightning with the sound effect and it triggered really quickly because of my gems and some other things but yeah this was really quick then the damage is not really crazy on that so you can use this either in raids gauntlets dungeons but if you're doing open world farming moving around a lot quickly then you will not see it uh you will not notice it's happening a lot so i wouldn't suggest this for something like terrorists when you're running around terrorists because it's just going to strike on normal monsters and won't bring a lot of impact then there is using a buff skill grant a shield to nearby allies absorbing uh damage equal to 15 percent of your maximum life for six seconds cannot occur more often than once every 30 seconds this looks like mm, no it's not that great but this is actually really great because i'm working around on my builds for gauntlet still but what you can do is let's say if you're the support guy as a necromancer and when you trigger the sh bone armor then you're also going to provide this shield to everyone so this is going to be an additional shield which everyone is going to get which could help in golden 3 so you can run with that it will make you even better support in my opinion so i am trying to use that and it's working really nice for me because some bosses hit so fast my bone armor just goes down so there is this shield which i can rely on so that is good but it is not really like op shield is just equal to 15 percent of the damage i think absorbing damage equal to 15 percent of your maximum life yeah that's it then the last one is rolling strike generate energy while moving or using a primary attack and when full your primary attack will knock enemies cannot occur more often than once every 10 second primary attack generate five energy and each yard of movement generate 1.25 so let me reset this one here this and activate this one and when we run around can we see the charge here i don't think we can see and yeah it is not really not noticeable uh, i am lagging there and it all happened and it really doesn't show there either so it's hard to notice but in pvp it could be good if you're using primary but not really effective the only two which i liked a lot is the benefit benefactor and the lightning rod itself which i find myself using i wanted to test them before i could uh, come up and make a video and mostly benefactor uh, benefactor is my choice for vanguard mode because i'm a support healer there and then the gauntlet raid is really good 
then lightning road is something for me like with my dungeon builds and i like to use it so it can trigger on the raid bosses as well or you could say the bosses on the dungeon so this is really good in my opinion so these two are the one it depends on your builds what you are going to play if you are a support go with the benefit factor if you're a damage deal then lightning rod knockback isn't going to bring much effect other than the pvp which i'm not sure how great it is but anyways this is it for the video i'll see you guys in my next one if you guys have any question do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care have fun and bye guys